In this quick tech video, we're going to offer tips for proper torque converter installation. Before beginning installation, there are several recommended checks you should do to ensure optimum performance. First, check the flex plate for any cracks around the crank and converter mounting holes. Then, make sure the converter's bolt pattern and bolt hole size match those of the flex plate. It may be necessary to enlarge the converter bolt holes on the flex plate. To avoid damage to your new converter resulting in potential leaks, inspect the old converter hub for wear, scoring, or damage. If defects are present, replace the front pump seal and bushing in the transmission. Finally, pour one quart of MacShift automatic transmission fluid into the converter, as well as applying a coating to the transmission input shaft splines. Once you have completed these initial checks, you're ready to install your new converter. When installing the converter, always support the weight of it to avoid damaging the front pump seal. Rotate the converter as you push it on. The spline couplings and the pump lugs must engage properly to allow the converter to slide all the way onto the transmission. A crucial step is to measure the depth of the mounting pad face from the mounting flange face. We'll call this figure A. To determine figure B, measure the distance between the engine block mating surface and the converter mount mating surface on the flex plate. It is important that A always be greater than B. If not, then push on the converter again while rotating and remeasure. Do this engagement until measurement A is greater than measurement B. If after several adjustments these measurements are still incorrect, you may have an improper combination of parts and should give our techs a call at 1-888-776-9824. The proper depth clearance varies for different torque converters. Refer to this depth clearance chart to determine the appropriate clearance for your converter. It is important to always stay within 50 thousandths of these figures to avoid problems. Use your smartphone to scan this QR code to view the depth clearance chart or visit tciauto.com slash tc slash autotrans FAQ to print the chart. Note, you never want to shim or use washers to try to achieve this measurement. The converter must be free to rotate and move forward and backward. This is your in play. Converter must also be free to move at least an eighth of an inch, but no more than three sixteenths of an inch. We find it easiest to take this measurement using an eighth inch thick washer. If no in play exists, the converter is improperly installed and will require adjustments. We hope you found this quick tech video to be helpful in demonstrating proper torque converter installation tips and techniques. For more information about torque converters or any other TCI product, call us at 1-888-776-9824 or visit us online at tciauto.com. Also, be sure to like us on Facebook.